I don't know if I can do this, people. Maybe one episode 101 is starting with a fail. Uh, Good morning. This is our last day at the Sterling Ranges. And as you can see, we're sunshine. And so we're quickly going to get everything out of our little hut, have some breakfast and a coffee, and then we're off to climb Mount Torbran up. That's our hut there. Let's see what Mark's doing. There he is. We made it out in time. We're only like eight minutes we were late for the checkout, so that's not bad at all. We'll say goodbye. <laughs> off we are to climb Mount Torbran up. Off we go, let's say. Uh... Off we go to climb Mount Torbran up. What did I say? Off we are. Oh, okay. Note, that's wrong. <laughs> this is our goal for the day. Around these parts, they call it Mini Everest. Apparently, it's one of the difficult, more difficult climbs. Yeah. I don't know why we're doing this. That's it. Off to our death we go. It's going to be cold up there. Oh well, let's see if we ever make it. Max already asking to go back. <laughs> Look, there's a whole field of scree. It's pretty steep. It looks flat here, but it's very steep. Oh, this sort of shows how steep it is. Full of scree, I think, up the top. We'll have to walk over the field like that too. Look at the clouds, how fast they're moving. We're in our first little break. Well, I reckon the wind speed up there yeah. is probably over 100. I've been watching the clouds come up and go over and they're really racing. It looks like a time lapse, but in real time. That would be scary, but we'll see. We'll see, I have a bit of this coffee now. It's getting real dark now. When they said this path was wilderness compared to Bluff Knoll, they weren't lying, actually having to climb. Bloody hell. There's my little Mark going. There he is. We've made it into a little bit of a clearing and we're getting a little view. Not much though, but some other mountains. But look how fast these clouds are moving. Mark's just seen something cool. Oh yeah, I saw this marsupial mouse. Jeez, this is so steep. I don't know about this. You're not even getting a view. I think you only get one when you're on the top. Oh, I don't even know where Mark is. Somewhere behind me. I'm clearly the stronger one in this relationship. <laughs> oh. Now we actually have to climb like, across. Well, that sign is encouraging. Look at this. Fit and agile, no. Prepared to climb steep rock sections, no. Wearing sturdy footwear, no. Prepare to encounter loose and slippery rock. No. It's a good climb, but you don't get any any views really, and you're the whole time you're in the shade. So if you're here to see stuff, probably better off on another mountain. We'll see what it's like on top, if we ever get there. Now here you can see the Sterling Ranges ones were on the floor of the sea, that's true. and that's still the ripples. You can see that here anyway. Our path now leads us up there. Jesus, I don't know, going down is going to be a very big challenge, but um, we've still got more climbing up to do, look. Uh, this is by far, by far, the most challenging climbing experience I've ever, ever had. Oh, for far I literally had to crawl on all four. I don't know how I'm going to get down. We're not even up yet, it's still further. Oh God, I don't know. What was I thinking? Mark's not even here yet. Should be coming soon. You there still? Yeah, all right. How are you going? All right. 
I don't know about us. <laughs> We're extreme. As Mark already pointed out, it all went wrong when I followed that guy into the bush. <laughs> Summit box, swinging around way too fast. Oh, Who's this? Who's this right near the summit box? This is so much fucking. Little Sue's. So much grime. Oh, you've done it again. I know, but you've done it again. Swear word. Think of the children. Hey, where did you come from? I believe the children are the future. Get up here or there? Looks better here. You, you just do whatever you got to do. You can go over to the. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, this is epic. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the bravery. Oh, here she comes. Okay, did it. Touch the summit box, Suzanne. Okay, hang on. Where is it? In the middle. Touch it. Hey! Can you write in? What are you going to write? This mountain sucks. What did oh. you say? It's a whinging wife. Painfully whinging wife. Talks repeatedly about how hard it's going to be to go down again. <laughs> Painfully? How do you spell whinging with uh, H? W H. Isn't it? Whinging wife. Yeah. Spoiling the view. <laughs> <laughs> there. there you go. We did it. We're up. We're on the second tallest mountain in the Sterling Ranges. And it's not too windy. Max, somewhere where it's awfully steep. I'm not going there. Anyway, over there, that there is Blub Knoll. That's the tallest mountain. I think we've earned ourselves a coffee. I don't know how this going down is gonna go. It's gonna be it's gonna be awful. Absolutely down. awful. Hey? I'm gonna ride you down like a sled. <laughs> there you go, we're having a little coffee break. The sun's coming back out. I've been taking photo after photo of this cup. Yeah. <laughs> With the mountains in the background. It's enriching the world. Mm. It's just because it's got such a nice colour. It looks cool, kind of with the, see? With the green. <coughs> what did you think of the climb? Um, yeah, not bad. You quite liked it, didn't not you? Not bad. I, I really concentrated on taking it easy. Mm. As soon as I felt any sense of suffering, I just stopped and I looked around. And then that's why I was lucky enough to see the marsupial mouse. You've know, mm -hmm. you got to stop to smell the roses. <laughs> or see the marsupial mice. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go down soon. And then we have to do the long drive back to Perth. That'll um, be all right. I'll just lay back, Susan will be done I'll drive that. the first bit, but then you will drive. Yeah, but I drove yesterday. So did I. I didn't drive yesterday at all. I drove all... See, there you go! <laughs> <laughs> I already forgot. This is how he does it. I he just says he'd done do something that and is, I think... That is a rare And I man. think he did, but... <laughs> cause my, my memory is really bad. This is nice up here. Mark was wrong. Wouldn't be too windy. It's cold. It's cold everyone. We're going down now. See you there. Wish us luck. Look at you here, a beast. We'll pass the most challenging and dangerous bits. I'm exhausted. My legs are so shaky. I find it a bit hard to hold up this camera. More updates soon. <laughs> I've had enough. Mike's had enough, he's um... Oh! <laughs> well that's what happens. What are you doing? He's um, stupid back going pack. backwards. That's why my toes don't get squashed. It's actually alright. It's done. We did it. Yep. It's finished. Oh. We're back at the car. Never again. <laughs> this is it. I feel like this is not the best light for us. So anyway, we've climbed the mountain, it's up there, we're back down, and it was exhausting. Mm -hmm. And now, whoo, well, geez. now we're driving back to Perth. We don't think much is going to happen along the way, so I wanted to say goodbye now. This was episode 101, woohoo to us! And we'll see you next time back in Perth, probably. All right. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>
They're everywhere. Got them. Finally got to see the emus. Bye bye. Now that's really it. We go.